The fact that the Tesla Semi will be produced further this year was announced by VP Tesla Moravi at the end of last year, but until now, the manufacturer has remained quite quiet about this electrical truck. We, we'll be going to volume production next year. It's not fun to recall that Elon Musk once exaggerated the number that Tesla could release, the target of 50,000 units. After all, it seemed just to satisfy a wow from the audience. After the fourth quarter call ended, the big news that Drew Buglino made clear was that they have enough 4680s for all their vehicles and they're accelerating with a Tesla Semi. Specifically on X, as a stalker has provided a new detail regarding the Semi truck's cabin extension. So, what's Tesla's game plan with a Semi truck? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell. Now, let's get started with today's content. Looking at reality, Tesla Semi always faces a wave of opposition from a large number of people. Even Bill Gates is one of them. He didn't believe that a battery-powered truck could go 500 miles, but since 2017, everything the Tesla Semi's achieved has made the billionaire rethink a lot. Not the specs or the battery problems. The biggest challenge of electric trucks lies in building megachargers 750 kilowatt hours. You know, we're sure that there won't be many more electric truck runs until Tesla overcomes this hurdle. How is the Tesla Semi actually being developed? Last month, Tesla posted quite a few vacant jobs related to semi production. Tesla Semi jobs in Sparks, Nevada, Palo Alto, California, and Austin, Texas. Tesla Boomer Mama on X counted 86 new jobs posted by the Tesla Semi division, including positions requiring asset technicians, software engineers, and supply chain specialists. You know, the electric truck doesn't have the support of Giga Press or production automation like other compact models. It is 70 to 80 percent hand assembled by specialized engineers, and the remaining quantity does not meet the manufacturer's needs. We have a you know close to 100 semis in our fleet now, and that they're doing that run, and we're you know working with um, Pepsi as well to just understand the durability and get it right. Since its launch, the number of Tesla semis has only hovered around 100 units, as shared by Tesla, of which 36 belong to PepsiCo, and no more semi trucks have been delivered since then. Only a small number of Teslas have been kept at the family for use and development purposes. The 180000 list price for this semi is not an industry estimate, but a 2017 release price. The sale price is much higher now than last year, when $250,000 was confirmed. So, what exactly is Tesla doing with a semi truck? Recently, in a close-up video by users Henrik Zane, a notorious Tesla semi stalker, Giga NV drone coverage, as well as a longtime Tesla inventor, has uncovered a detail that we believe is related to the progress of Tesla semi production. In the video he provided on X, there are at least seven electric trucks appearing in the Nevada factory parking lot with different characteristics. Among the seven semis, there are four long range variants, also known as 500 miles, and three standard range variants with 300 miles. If you just glance over, it might be difficult to distinguish between the variants, so if you pay close attention to the bright shield part, by which we mean its size compared to each other, you'll identify them. However, we paid more attention to a significant detail that at least two trucks have a dark colored bright shield, a detail never seen before. The question is, is this really the sleeper cab variant that Priestley mentioned? Eventually, we will do a sleeper cab where we can send drivers out for multiple days at a time as we expand the charging network. Typically, the white fairing is smaller on the standard version and larger on the advanced version. However, the fact that it's black in some cases raises suspicions about Tesla possibly undergoing the process of expanding the cabin for the sleeper cab version. It would be hard to believe without anyone mentioning the refresh of the electric truck, but semi-truck engineering, Tesla's senior designer, Dan Priestley, confirmed that they would soon be making an electric truck version that allows drivers to make deliveries over multiple days as they overcome challenges related to the megacharger. We always receive questions like, why doesn't Tesla build these megachargers ahead of the truck since they don't need to wait for a charge? Answering this question is quite challenging, because apart from those within Tesla, Everything we see from the outside is only speculation. Besides the information about the cost of installing a mega charger, which can be up to 6 million bucks, more is known about the infrastructure regions in relation to the challenge of Tesla electric truck order volumes. On average, Tesla could generate nearly $30 billion annually by allowing other electric vehicle manufacturers worldwide to charge at the supercharger network. So the $6 million figure for mega chargers could easily be addressed. However, building megachargers requires approval from local governments and cooperation from utility companies. This process can take a lot of time and effort, even prioritizing installation systems. 
A typical example is PepsiCo, who has invested nearly two years in developing megacharger infrastructure at their Sacramento plant with about four stalls. They've also simultaneously committed to meeting greenhouse gas reduction goals and reducing dependence on the power grid. This is to ensure that they can meet increasing demand for electricity and battery charging while also creating favorable conditions for the use of electric vehicles and renewable energy in the future. Returning to the intriguing details of electric trucks, in the case of Tesla, if they are indeed developing a cabin for a new variant to include a sleeper or other amenities, redesigning and reconfiguring the cabin is something the manufacturer could implement. Moving the driver's seat to the left instead of center, streamlining the control area by removing the dual screens and other functions to focus on a more spacious layout. Of course, engineers would extend the cabin rearward to allocate space more efficiently than current. Aside from the more predictable aspects, a slew of unanswered questions remains, such as how Tesla could address the weight issue post adding to the sleeper and whether the range of the battery pack will decrease after the new version, possibly even reaching $400,000 or $500,000. All of these are difficult to predict because even for the current day cab lineup, the information available to us is limited. What are your thoughts on Tesla's semi if they were to completely redesign their cabin? Drop a comment below. Besides the rig's refresh issue, a big question that most people are interested in is whether the Tesla semis are really waiting for the 4680 battery to be available in large quantities. Many sources criticize everything solely about the battery. Without additional batteries, especially its own 4680 cells, Tesla perhaps cannot ramp up production, so everything will remain in a state of limbo until progress on the 4680 battery is achieved. Based on what we've learned and obtained, at least up to the current moment, the integration of the 4680 battery into the Tesla Semi has not occurred yet. And the difficulty for Tesla to launch electric trucks doesn't solely lie in the battery issue as in previous stages. A fact remains that although Baglino shared in the quarter 4 2023 call that the manufacturer has enough 4680 cells for all its vehicles, we see this as a promise rather than a confirmation. This means Tesla will have enough 4680 batteries for all models, including the Tesla Semi, EV Gen 3, or a robo-taxi at a future point, for example, in 2026 or 2027, rather than at present. Although during the fourth quarter call, a question was posed to Tesla's leadership about what has been the barrier to ramping 4680 cells into multi-million cells per week. In a succinct response, Tesla indicated that 4680 is not just about a larger diameter cell, but also encompasses technological innovation across the entire cell and manufacturing process within it. Additionally, the advisory board also noted that the 4680 is certainly not exclusive to just the Cybertruck, but will be utilized in future models. Tesla stated in the call that they've broken ground for the next phase of expansion at Giga Nevada, including Tesla Semi and other projects. Other projects could involve ramping up 4680 cells in the future. If this is correct, this expansion of Giga Nevada is expected to be a $3.6 billion expansion, adding an additional 4 million square feet of manufacturing space. Two new facilities are being constructed, one for semi-production and one for 4680 cell production. In summary, issues regarding the production of 4680 cells seem to be trailing behind and have little impact on Tesla's timeline for launching its electric semi-truck fleet. Currently, the manufacturer is targeting 5 gigawatts per year per production line with eight lines set to be operational by year's end. Elon Musk can expand production facilities near Nevada at any time if necessary. We believe that as the Cybertruck's progress with a 4680 battery has entered a perfect mold, excess 4680 cell production will be transferred to the Semi and other models. Currently, there are at least two reasons why the number of Semi keels is limited. The only ones we can think of are the number of mega chargers is too small or the refresh process is going on, so they're not in a hurry to reveal anything about this rig. Why does PepsiCo want more Tesla Semis? While corporate units such as Walmart, FedEx, or UPS have not received drilling rigs into their fleet, PepsiCo has up to 36 units to operate. In a chat, Dij Natunovic, director of electrification programs at PepsiCo, explained that most of his company's Tesla semis are used for deliveries within 100 miles and operate for up to 12 hours a day. However, there are also a number of semi trucks that serve routes of varying in length from 250 to 450 miles. We've been aggressive to push the limit and demonstrate that we are able to achieve a very high range with a fully loaded tractor, he said. In Tesla's plan, they anticipate building nine truck charging stations along an 1,800-mile route from California to Texas. However, until that becomes a reality, the development of the electric truck industry may heavily rely on addressing the issue of transportation distance, 
which is a critical factor for the efficiency and feasibility of transitioning to this type of vehicle. Mr. Antunovich stated that PepsiCo achieved an average efficiency of 1.7 kilowatt hour per mile with the Tesla Semi. According to Electrex calculations, this helps reduce fuel costs by an impressive 23% compared to the most efficient diesel trucks. Assuming energy costs are 14 cents per kilowatt hour, the current off-peak price in Sacramento right now. The assessment of the efficiency of Tesla electric trucks extends beyond just efforts to reduce CO2 emissions. It also contributes significantly to cost savings for companies compared to traditional diesel trucks. Even Tesla itself is committed to providing a substantial savings with a promise of up to $200,000 in savings over the first three years with its semi-model. Perhaps this is why the manufacturer refers to it as the beast. A beast for saving fuel costs. Normally, any electric vehicle will lose power in the winter, including all segments or worse, stop working in case the battery's degraded. However, compared to speculation that winter will be the end of the Tesla Semi and other electric trucks, it recently proved its impressive capabilities with a supposedly stressful challenge. Specifically, a recent video from the California Highway Patrol showed a Tesla Semi cautiously navigating down an icy hill on eastbound I-80 at Donner Summit. The reality is that these hills are always considered a significant challenge for any electric truck, even in normal conditions, let alone slippery state weather. Some comments on X even express that this hill is one of the toughest spots they've ever driven through and wouldn't dare to come back. The video shared by California Highway Patrol depicts the semi rolling slowly and cautiously down Interstate 80 eastbound through the snowy and frigid Donner Summit, a stretch of road that can sometimes become treacherous, especially during those cold winter months. Luckily, we observed that the Tesla Semi performed quite well. The wheels continued to roll steadily without any locking up, and the regenerative braking function operated smoother than ever. This Tesla Semi resembled a snow-hunting beast, and it's commendable that Tesla conducts some rigorous real-world tests before releasing a larger quantity later this year, as this surely won't be a one-time occurrence. Sometimes, truck drivers have to face quite hazardous driving conditions, and it's crucial that they're trained to handle such situations. However, equally important is that their vehicles can handle challenging terrains, icy roads, snow, and other harsh conditions that they may encounter from time to time. The Tesla Semi seems to have fulfilled this mission. From the shared video, there were some swirling versions of the large rig, but the Semi didn't seem to be among them as it descended a challenging hill slowly and deliberately. We know that the Semi has undergone some rigorous testing from Tesla before it starts being delivered to PepsiCo and other companies in the future. The Tesla semi truck still a mystery that needs to be explored further. With advanced technology and performance not inferior to traditional trucks, this pickup promises to change the way goods are transported. However, the issue of production volume this year is still a mystery. Whether Tesla can meet market demand is still a big question. In addition, will the delivery of the new version really change the game in the field of multi-day delivery? This also depends on the features and performance of the new version whether it can meet the needs of transporting large and long-distance goods. Finally, another important factor is the price. An appropriate price will make customers happier and promote market acceptance of this new technology. Only if the price is right can the Tesla Semi truly achieve its enormous potential and become a popular choice in the freight industry. Tesla's equipped the Semi with various safety features, including anti-brake controllers and motors that provide traction and stability. The Tesla Semi continues to redefine the boundaries of electric road transport, showcasing the potential of sustainable and efficient transportation vehicles. The road transport industry is the primary cause of global greenhouse gas emissions, with diesel trucks accounting for only 1%, but contributing 18% of CO2 to the atmosphere. Its emissions are byproducts of fuel combustion processes, vehicle exhaust, and the energy-intensive nature of truck manufacturing operations. As the global trade volume continues to rise, the anticipated increase in freight transportation demand is likely to lead to an increase in emissions unless significant changes are made. Reducing carbon emissions in the road transport sector is going to be a challenge. However, recent developments in electric trucks could rejuvenate efforts in carbon-neutral freight transportation. With its groundbreaking 500-mile range on a single charge and a robust 1,000-volt drivetrain system, the Tesla Semi transcends mere utility. It embodies a paradigm shift towards strength and efficiency in the realm of transportation. The cutting-edge technology integrated into this vehicle serves as a testament to the remarkable progress achieved in the field of electric vehicle technology. When Elon Musk, the visionary architect behind Tesla, takes the wheel of the Semi, 
It's more than just a routine test drive. It's a compelling manifestation of unwavering faith in the potential of a sustainable future. The introduction of the V4 supercharger, designed to serve not only the semi, but also the highly anticipated Cybertruck, underscores the infrastructure being prepared for change. The potential of the Tesla Semi to revolutionize roadways and the environment is evident, with promises of reducing emissions and setting a new standard for energy and efficiency in heavy-duty transportation. As we stand on the precipice of a transformation, the energy of Tesla Semi into the market, successful trials of electric trucks for maintenance in winter conditions, and innovative solutions like the solar power pack charging station herald a new chapter for the road transport industry. These developments are not merely advancements in automotive technology. They are steps towards a sustainable future, challenging and reshaping our perception of what's achievable. The road transport sector's quest for emission reduction and enhanced efficiency has reached a pivotal milestone with the introduction of the Tesla semi-truck. This groundbreaking vehicle doesn't just promise a revolution in transportation. It heralds a transformative impact on our environment. Indeed, we're witnessing a paradigm shift in the narrative of road transportation, driven by electricity, pioneering innovation, and a bold vision for a greener, more sustainable future. What do you think? Will the Tesla Semi and 4680 batteries be Tesla's aggressive sneak attack in 2024 through 2025? Or are we still far from having important news on these things? We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, Please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting that bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.